I want to know what you said to Miss Carlyle. Before you talked to her, she was very enthusiastic about coming to the reception. Is she a little old for you, Mason? That's very funny, Eden, but you're avoiding my question. I told her not to come. I told her she wasn't welcome. And who do you think you are, Eden? What gives you the right to interfere? For information, I had a very good reason. What? I can't say. As a matter of fact, I won't say. Because it's none of your damn business. You know what I think, Eden? I think you and Dan are exactly alike. You both share the same instinct. Some sort of uh, desire, a passion to systematically destroy the various aspects of my life. My professional life, my family life, now my personal life. When are you two going to learn that my life is no longer Mason, any of your you business? Why you calm down? You're shouting. What if I am? I have a right to know. I want to know when you're going to drop this vendetta against me. Because the way things stand now, I'm thinking a lot about fighting back. Oh, fighting back, Mason. With what, may I ask? Wait and see. Yeah, I think so. You won't have to wait long. What are you talking about? Oh, I'm going to make a little announcement. I have some information that might be construed as startling. In fact, I'd even call it a show stopper. Well, I don't like surprises, Miss. I know. Neither does Dan. That's what's going to make this so much fun. Come on, Eden. Believe it or not, you got a ticket to the best show in town. Yes, I think we could become involved in a project like that. Let me call my divisional manager and let him do a little bit of investigating. He come up with the figures and some charts like I think. Dan, could I uh, speak to you for a minute? Not right now, Mason. I'm in the middle of a conversation. It's very important. Well, I'm sure that it is, but it'll have to wait until later. Excuse me. Um, what did Mason mean? What did he have to tell me? Oh, I don't know. Uh, he's obviously not drunk. Yes, well, that I could see. Well, you know how he gets when he drinks. It's very destructive. Eden, who is that woman I'm talking to? Oh, it's really Denny. Um, it, that's just somebody who's interviewing Kelly. Oh, yes, yes. I, I, I think I met her earlier. Strange, though, that, that woman. Oh, Denny, you can't worry about that now. I mean, you have to make the toast and everything. It's only 6 30. Oh, is it time on it? Thank yeah. you. Everyone, please, may I have your attention? Toast. To a girl, no, no, to a woman that I have watched grow up from my beautiful little baby into an extraordinary young lady, and to a man that I have learned to respect as I would a son, to two extraordinary people, to the bride and groom, to Mr. and Mrs. Joe Perkins. I, too, have a toast. First to C.C. Capwell and his obvious generosity. And second, to my bride, a woman who, who knows how to laugh and how to smile, how to cry, and most of all, and best of all, she knows how to love. My bride, Kelly, I will love you. Here. 